Now, the last on the Mia F model, action. Action. The action. <laughs> okay. So we've done M, we've done E, and now we've moved to action. The action. And action is action, and action is quick. Okay. <laughs> so we're not going to overdwell here. Okay. The points around action are pretty straightforward. Okay. It's to say, for action to happen, you take responsibility, lead it. Okay. Don't start saying, I don't have this, I don't. So resourcefulness, you bring yeah. it in here. You lead it. And you think of how you make it happen. And the two key things that you will need to be able to lead it and make it happen is one, your R3G mindset, yeah. mindset. okay? And two, your hurrah. Uh, because you need people to do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's the action piece. So you keep asking yourself, how do I do this? Who do I need? How do I hurrah yeah. them? Okay. And it closes the Mia yeah, the F. For you. So and the maybe, F. To link it, mm -hmm. I, I really like the practicalities of it. Huh? Mm -hmm. For whatever you are looking for as your leadership objective, somebody must take some action. Yes. Exactly. Right? Yes, somebody it, must. Going to engage somebody means somebody must take must action. If, if I finish engaging with you and you don't take any action, it doesn't really bring my results. Yes. Okay? And you will feel it in the engagement. We will come to that space sometime when we have the space to say, Anytime you have to engage anybody, mm -hmm. you must have a certain action as an objective. A certain okay. action from the person as an objective. It is not enough to say, I'm going to engage him so that he will understand something, so that he will know something. When he has understood and come to know, then what? Because until an action is taken, no results is delivered. Mm. That is why we have the action as the, the, like the third pillar. When all these things are happening, if this never happens, if the action never happens, there's no result. Mm -hmm. So we always want to ask, what do I want the other person to do? Yeah. Okay. What do I want the people to do? Yeah. Okay. It's not about to know or to yeah. learn or to understand. It's what do I want them to do? Okay. Mm. And what do I need to do? To make them do. So all the examples or the, the objective you have set for yourself. Identify at least one person, one critical person you need to engage. <laughs> and what do you want the person to do after the engagement? Okay. That would be the objective. Mm. And then we can look at how the engagement yeah. will go to make the person do what you expect. I, I like the fact that there are a lot of uh, leaders, young leaders here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your influence may not come too much from a certain authority power as you may not have it mm -hmm. it will come from people wanting to follow you and when you grab them you have a high chance of inspiring them to do what you expect from them and you'll more. be engaging uh, senior colleagues you can't command them around how do you get them into the space to do what what you want um, people working at with different organizations you will be engaging customers, for example. How do you grab them to want them to willingly then patronize your, your product or your service? So it, it cuts across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take it home, your significant other, your church member, neighbor. It works everywhere. Very, very insightful. <laughs> Uh, if not anything, we've learned that leadership is about three things. Mindset, engagement, and action. Of which you need some components. Like hurrah, resourcefulness, great goodness, good mindset. And then you lead it and make it happen. At least these should be our take-home message. And that's a wonderful discussion.